face reality. Titleless Harry hits the bottom, as Philip's army role falls into the hands of Sophie. On Tuesday this week, the royal family were able to gather to celebrate Prince Philip's life and legacy on a scale previously denied to them, after the late royal's downsized funeral last year was held under coronavirus restrictions. Westminster Abbey was filled with royals, politicians, and representatives from organizations and charities with which the Duke of Edinburgh was affiliated, finally able to gather en masse to pay tribute at a special thanksgiving service. The Countess of Wessex has taken over the Duke of Edinburgh's former role as Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, Remy. Sophie was appointed by the Queen, who is head of the armed forces, with the decision announced the day after Philip's memorial service. The Countess was said to be extremely honoured to be following in her father-in-law's footsteps. Philip held the honorary title for more than fifty years, becoming Colonel-in-Chief of the Corps in 1969. The Countess's new role was announced on Wednesday the day after Philip's memorial service. The Countess was among members of the royal family who gathered with the monarch in Philip's memory at the service of thanksgiving for his life on Tuesday, eleven months after his Covid-restricted funeral. Formed in 1942, the Remy is responsible for maintaining all the equipment the British Army operates from tanks and helicopters to weapons and communications equipment. The royal family said on Twitter how the Corps combined the Duke's enduring support of the forces, and keen interest in engineering. Sophie held an audience with the Remy Master General Lieutenant General Paul Jacques and Colonel Jason Phillips on Wednesday to formally receive the title. Lieutenant Jean Jacques said the Countess's appointment would build on the legacy left by the Duke. He said, I am very much looking forward to welcoming the Countess to the home of the Corps in Modlinum to meet more of our amazing soldiers, see the technical training facilities, and to discuss the Corps support to all those in the Remy family, cadets, regular soldiers, reserve soldiers, veterans, and their families. His Royal Highness the Prince Philip served for more than 50 years as Colonel-in-Chief of the Corps of Remy, and always took a very keen interest in the Corps business. We look forward to a long and happy association with the Countess, building on the legacy that the late Duke of Edinburgh leaves, in keeping the punch in the army's fist. Last week, during a visit to the headquarters of 5th Battalion the Rifles, Sophie met Remy soldiers currently attached to the battalion, to hear about their work supporting the unit. It comes after members of the royal family attended a memorial service for the Duke at Westminster Abbey on Tuesday. Sophie arrived with her husband Prince Edward and their two children Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Seven. The Queen, who used a walking stick, was escorted to her front row seat by Prince Andrew. The 95-year-old monarch had been determined to make an appearance at the deeply personal occasion in honor of her beloved husband, with her attendance only confirmed in the morning. It marked the Queen's first major official engagement outside of a royal residence for nearly six months. A while ago, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle's biography Finding Freedom have revealed some unknown details of the royals. An excerpt from Carolyn Durand and Omid book, reveals that Harry was pained and devastated over the loss of his military ranks while leaving the royal family. The author wrote, the most demoralizing aspect of the New Deal was his being stripped of his honorary military appointments that had been awarded to him as a senior royal. As a retired serviceman, Harry would always be able to wear his medals, but no longer could he wear uniform as Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Force Commandant of the Royal Air Force Base Honington, and Honorary Commodore-in-Chief of the Royal Navy's small ships and diving operations. An insider told the authors, that the moment made Harry emotional. It was the most painful for Meghan to witness him go through this phase. Harry's military career ended in June 2015. He received the Captain General of the Royal Marines one of his highest military titles, from the Queen in December 2017. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced that they would be stepping back from senior roles in the royal family and work to become financially independent in 2020. Come financially.